Hello and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I'm Rika from Honey Bunny Games and this is our monorail we made a few episodes back. So let's uh, go back to pick up some passengers. I'm gonna close this thing down, close the doors. You can see this thing is here for a break because this guy was usually, you know, drifting ahead. So yeah, you can see it's drifting. I'm not doing anything, so that's why I had this installed. Gonna remove this thing and off to the station. Of course, we do have our little honk that's currently. Whoa. Uh. Okay, maybe a bit of lag. And now, uh, open up. Open these doors. Everyone gets in. I change size, just you know, living the ordinary tram driver life or some sort. And yeah, let's uh, let's close the door, hang the horn, and let's keep moving. Let's see if everything is fine. And we are coming to the second station. I'm gonna close down my doors. Okay, a tiny more bit, and we're gonna hit this thing. Okay, gonna open the doors go out and of course get in a new train we made train or tram I'm not sure how, that's probably a train um, so yeah let's go inside you can see the door is already open waiting for me to start operating this bad boy we have all these seats uh, and passengers which well you know just imagine they're here so yeah we also have a fuse box with some pipes inside and all that uh, now, since this line is a bit longer, we do have a toilet, so you know you can go and take a take your business here. Okay, now I'm done with my business. Any passenger can use it, so it's not recommended to actually use it at all. Uh, we have doors on both sides, but the platform, both this one and the next one, the next one platform is still under construction. Uh, they're both on this side, but you know this is thinking ahead. So if we have any uh, ideas of creating some new platforms on this side we can easily do that um, but of course let's go into the driver's cabin uh, close it up and I just want to show you how the how the doors work so I'm gonna close them down there we go just simple easy and cool okay gonna close down the doors They're closed close down the cabin door um, open up the engine yeah, it's set to the lowest setting. Let's go slow. Okay, hunt the horn because we're leaving. And off we go. There we go. Nice, smooth ride. You know what? I'm going to bump it up a bit. Okay. There we go. Moving nice and easy. There's a long trip ahead. So, you know, I could just go back here, you know, do some stuff. I know check some check for some tickets uh, if everyone bought some uh, give some uh, tickets if someone didn't buy one and yeah it's a bit uh, you know maybe I'm not gonna say it's not stable it's pretty darn stable but it's hanging on this side that's probably because the toilet and everything in this toilet thing is heavier than everything else so that could be the reason, uh, but I'm gonna close this thing down and we're coming to the station. And we also have nice, you know, billboard town thing, something. So I'm gonna hang the horn because we're arriving and slowly come to a stop. It stops pretty darn immediately. <laughs> okay, gonna, you know, boost down the engine. Oh, we are at the okay. So now I'm gonna open the door and I can go outside. There we go. That was our simple train ride from the beginning to the to this station. We cannot see the one in the beginning. Maybe hardly this thing. It's blurry, so I don't know. So and then we boarded this train and moved all the way here. Now to show me a bit of this train and what it can do. I'm gonna go back into the this cockpit. Close it down. Close the doors. Are the doors closed? I should have like some kind of something to check. Let's go full speed and see how that works out.
Okay, here goes nothing. Wow, that, that's fast. It's holding, it's holding, it's a bit, you know. Whoa. Okay. I wasn't hoping for that to happen, but there we go. We came to a stop. Can we actually move back a bit? We should be able to. Yes, we are. Okay, that is excellent. So we came here to a stop. I'm gonna open up the doors. And there we go. It can, you know, handle the full speed of the electric motor, which is completely awesome if you ask me. And let me show you around this guy a bit. So up here, I have... Okay, I can I jump up here? So up here, I have the XOR thing for the doors. So both cabins can open either side of the doors. Same on this side. This is for these doors. This guy is for these doors. Uh, I'm gonna remove that because that's everything on the roof. And the horn, of course. The most important thing on the roof. Now in the cabin, uh, I have four controllers. I'm gonna open that. The first one is for this door. The second one is for this. And the other over there on this side. Uh, and these two guys are for this and the, the engine cover. Okay, so we have that covered. This switch is obviously operating the, the engine in this direction. Because we do have a double drive train. So basically when we're going in this direction, the first uh, the first bearing is locked because that engine is not turned on. And that's why we are able to move. Then we have these guys to open these compartments. We have our lock here. We have a horn and of course the doors. They uh, match the side. So left button turns the left side on and off. Same with the right and same in this cabin. So this button for this side, that button for this side. Pretty darn simple and straightforward. Everything is the same in both cabins. They are mirrored, so but you once you go in on the right side is the is the the electricity panel and on the left side is the engine thing. So yeah, that's pretty darn good if you ask me. I'm gonna go outside, open both of the doors. The doors are very simple, three bearings for each doors, and so that's like uh, 12 bearings for all the doors we have, plus the so 14 door 14 bearings for all the doors, including the cabin ones. We also do have a bearing on these guys, and yeah, we do have plenty of bearings actually. Oh yeah, but well, oh, never mind. And of course, we do have a toilet thing. This is probably... I'm, I was like, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit it. I wanted it to rotate this way, or other way, and not like in the middle. Uh, but I didn't have enough space, you know, to make the, the door and all that. So that's uh, why I went with this solution. Uh, this here, I I kind of wanted to keep everything symmetrical. So you you can see there's two, two pairs of seats, and two pairs of seats, and then this guy. Well, this side has three pairs of seats. Uh, same on this side, like mirrors, just like everything else. And I didn't want to make a second toilet, that would be, well, stupid. So I just made this random uh, fuse box and some pipes and walls inside. Just so it looks pretty darn good. We do not have a platform here, so that was pretty darn stupid idea for me to jump out. But there's a, you know, a gap you can squeeze through in the cabin, so that's uh, not a big problem. But anyway, this is the... Uh, monorail train I made I think it's a big improvement than this one it's longer it's more stable ish shit yeah that wasn't supposed to happen um yeah I'm gonna go all the way back and then close it up yeah, as you can see, this guy is also not stable because he moves back and forth. I don't like that. This guy is like the version 5 of this guy. But anyway, uh, in a, I have a few ideas for the next projects. Um, for a few next projects, to be honest. And I think you'll like them. I'm gonna start working on one as soon as I uh, finish recording this episode to see if the concept works. If it does, 
it's gonna be excellent but if it doesn't i'm gonna simply move to the next idea i have but you'll see that some other day not today because obviously i'm not making that video so yeah like i said this is my monorail i hope you liked it if you have any suggestions uh please leave a comment i'm gonna try and i'm gonna see with twisted to place down the world save but i'm i think i'm gonna do it have to see yeah, i'm probably gonna do it but anyway this is gonna be it for this episode so thank you guys for watching please subscribe leave a comment like the video and see you next time